John Moreau, Masters in Physical Education, 1984. Olympic athlete, national fencing champion, black belt in martial arts, and international and Olympic coach and official. Moreau has been a faculty member in the Department of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation at Texas State for the past 25 years. The second of four children of Albert and Patricia Moreau. He was born in 1951 in Kansas City, Missouri. Three years later, the family moved to Endicott, New York, just north of the Pennsylvania border. Given his later accomplishments, this picture would suggest a driving ambition, even at an early age, and patience on the part of his older brother, Mark. After all, it was his fire truck that had arrived on Christmas morning. At the age of five, he was too young to understand there were places where surviving winter didn't require thermal underwear and thick layers of clothing. He couldn't wait for the summers to roll around when he and Brother Mark could participate in athletics of one sort and another. He was all about competing, no matter what the game. As a sixth grader, he beat out all but a couple of high school boys for the title of yo-yo champion of Central New York State. Here he is enjoying the view on board his Schwinn three-speed he won for taking third place. By the time he reached Union Endicott High School, he was involved in multiple sports, including cross country, track and field, and basketball. In college, he was twice a finalist in the NCAA cross country championships. In 1973, he participated in the modern pentathlon national championships. Here, he is running the 4K race at Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas. Modern pentathlon is a rigorous competition which includes not only running but pistol marksmanship, 200 meter freestyle swimming, and equestrian jumping. Moreau earned his bachelor's degree at the State University of New York in Binghamton after a stint in the military and was later commissioned in the U.S. Army where he participated in various competitions around the globe. Here, he is negotiating the obstacle course at the 1980 Military Pentathlon Championships in Munich, Germany. The military games include the obstacle course run, obstacle course swim, 200 meter rifle marksmanship, grenade throw, and five mile cross country run. It was in fencing, a sport he'd taken up in college, that Moreau particularly excelled. In the 1984 Olympics, he was a member of the U.S. fencing team that competed in Los Angeles. Here, against the silver medalist French team, he won his bout, but the U.S. team lost in a tiebreaker, finishing in 10th place. 1984 turned out to be a better year than predicted in George Orwell's novel. Not only did Moreau become an Olympian, but he also earned his master's degree in education at Texas State and joined the faculty of the Department of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation. Here we see him showing off his new diploma with friend, department colleague, and his karate instructor, Grandmaster Dan Baker. In addition to his multiple duties at Texas State, Moreau volunteers as a coach and advisor of the school's fencing sports club. In 1986, the club successfully defended the state collegiate championship against UT, A&M, Rice, and the University of Houston and others. All told, Texas State has won 14 state titles under Moreau. 1986 was the same year that Moreau was on the championship military pentathlon team in competition among U.S. military reserve officers in Athens, Greece. One of the events is rifle marksmanship, and here he is firing the rifle of the Greek army, shooting at targets more than two football fields away. Two years later, his competitive drive brought him to Seoul, South Korea, along with the U.S. Olympic team including future San Antonio Spurs star David Robinson and Rob Stahl, a member of the pentathlon and fencing team who had attended Texas State and was coached by Moreau before transferring to UT. Stahl, who was on both the U.S. fencing and pentathlon teams, was the only U.S. athlete to compete in two different sports at that year's Olympics. That earned special recognition from Secretary of Defense Frank Carlucci. Over the years, Moreau has been a medalist in 15 U.S. Olympic Festival events, been a member of six national champion EPE fencing teams, and in 2003, with wife Natalia cheering him on, he won the national individual EPE title at the age of 52, the oldest to ever do so. He got the medal and the water bottle, but they took back the irreplaceable sterling silver 1920s Tiffany's trophy, the only thing in the tournament older than he was. 
2003 was the same year he was picked to officiate at the Pan Am Games in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Then, in a life filled with a seemingly endless series of highs, came a sudden moment of alarm that would have flattened lesser souls. The medical diagnosis was stage three lymphoma, but for Moreau, it was just the latest challenge, one that he would master as he had all others. In his words, he would kick cancer's butt. After months of chemo and the day after his last radiation treatment, he qualified for the World Fencing Championships and went on to defeat a former world and Olympic champion on the way to a third place finish. All of which explains why the International Olympic Committee picked him as the only judge from the Western Hemisphere for fencing and pentathlon at the 2008 Olympic Games. The Alumni Association on behalf of Texas State University is pleased to confer on John Moreau, Olympian, teacher, inspirational leader, its Distinguished Alumni Award for 2009.